the scare over our nation's capital. Fighter jets scrambled when a plane flew through restricted airspace. Sonic boom rattled the Washington, D.C. area, briefly put the White House and the Capitol on alert. Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Georgia. It was an unsettling, frightening moment for thousands here in Washington, hearing that very loud boom with fighter jets scrambling into the skies before a tragic ending. A sonic boom heard across the nation's capital and neighborhoods beyond, rattling homes and rattling nerves. It was very jarring. We thought it was probably an earthquake. The city on alert as a small civilian jet, a Cessna Citation, flew through restricted airspace, the pilot failing to respond to air traffic control. The U.S. military quickly launching six F-16 fighter jets from three bases to track the plane as it headed south into Virginia. The two F-16s over Washington reaching supersonic speed to catch up with the Cessna jet, creating that sonic boom that reverberated across the region. Within minutes, the Cessna jet was spotted at 30... A sonic bang, an airborne pursuit, and an airplane crash generated tremors in D.C. An enigmatic and catastrophic crash Sunday afternoon put the country's capital on serious alert and is still under scrutiny and investigation. Noisy reverberations, army jet engines, firecrackers, firings is an everyday thing throughout the region. But a boom this noisy and loud was so bizarre, individuals checked it out on the net to uncover out what was happening. The Washington Post's weather Twitter account even noticed that its crew had overheard the loud noise and boom, and that Thunder was not the perpetrator. What was the loud noise? It was explained and dubbed, and I quote a sonic boom from the United States military's reaction to an aircraft that wafted into uncontrolled no-fly zone. That aircraft crashed and four persons perished. What was the sound? A Cessna reference entered controlled territory over Washington, D.C., around 3.05 p.m. on Sunday. The aircraft was en route to Long Island from Elizabethton, Tennessee Air Control Unit endeavored to transmit to the aircrew and inform them to change course to unobstructed no-fly zone. Tragically, that in addition to the pilot, his daughter, his two-year-old granddaughter, and her nanny were aboard the plane. George. Yeah, that is so sad. Okay, Martha, thanks. Let's bring in our aviation expert, Stephen Gaynard. And Stephen, start out by telling everybody what the standard is for scrambling these fighter jets. Yeah, George, the actual standards are classified, but there is a good bit of judgment involved. Uh, remember that the North American Air Defense Command out in Colorado Springs has responsibility for all of the U.S. and Canada. So they're monitoring all these flights. And it's actually not unusual to lose communications with various flights around the perimeter of the U.S. and Canada. So they have to think about what is the intent. In this case, the aircraft was at 34,000 feet, it stayed at 34,000 feet, and it stayed on a constant heading. So it didn't seem like it was a big threat. They did put the uh, Capitol and the White House on alert, uh, but they didn't. Uh Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.